Happy holidays. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna, we're gonna do a first look. Okay, first look on uh, Bellman. Okay, so this is the Bellman espresso maker and steamer. So we're gonna take a look at it. Uh, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna give you guys a live demo. I did that yesterday with a uh, Hugh. That was a pretty long session. It's about 40 minutes long. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to go back yesterday. It was a pretty ugly session, but it was ugly, but uh, you get to see what they feel like using that coffee machine. Okay, the manual machine from Hugh. It's called Lever Presso uh, from Korea as well, my fellow countrymen. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm, I'm going to redo it. Okay? I'm going to do a redo later. So I'm going to give you guys a proper demonstrate on the demonstration on Hue, not yeah, uh, lever presser for you uh, sometime today. Okay. And then, so this morning, I'm going to be unbox this. Okay. I just got this one from Berman. I'm going to shout out to friends at Berman to hook me up with this. This is pretty cool. So this is like kind of like gateway to espresso machine. So you don't want to spend too much money. But you want you, you like to have some good coffee with steam. You can make some decent latte. Uh, so this might be it. Okay, so this might if you are looking for last minute shopping. Okay, so watch this video. Make sure to see for yourself. Okay, and then uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna give you guys our proper demonstra uh, demonstration on the Berman tomorrow morning because I don't. I mean, I have an idea how to use it, but you know what? I, I think we are a little better than that, okay? I think I'm going to give you guys a, the proper uh, li uh, live demonstration for you. But meantime, uh, my wife needs some coffee, so I'm going to make a quick coffee using Bravo Barista Pro. And uh, I'm using coffee from uh, one of my friend's son just to open up a kind of like coffee cart. And he has coffee roaster as well. And I'm gonna try our Howling Roaster Coffee. So he gave me, hooked me up with some uh, sample package. So this is their house blend. Buzel and in Indonesia, uh, he blended. Uh, roast date on, roast date is November 5th. So this is like six, seven weeks old coffee. Okay, all right, so let's try this. Is a, you know, Coffee is not as fresh, but we're sick. I already measured out 18 gram here. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome, guys. Welcome to daily live streaming. Okay, so I set for 19 seconds, okay? So if I'm using like medium roast, uh, 19 seconds is more than plenty. So since this is, this is more like darker roast there, the 19 gram, if you weight it, is a lot more coffee beans, so. So more like 21 seconds for this. Again, so medium roast is definitely heavier than darker roast. Obviously lighter roast is the heaviest. And that's why all depend on the coffee roasting level. Uh, even though it's an 18 gram, it's not the same as a darker roast 18 gram. You're gonna give you the different value. So, I mean, that's why the value metric can be good. Some, some things making coffee, but I mean, most times I just go based on the you know, weight, okay, as well. So, you know what, hold on. Let me flip the angle of my camera. So show you guys my quick workflow this morning. Again, I'm using uh, coffee from Howling Roaster. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. You know what? Built-in grinder, eh, they're not bad. I have to say, they are not bad at all. As you can see, I distribute it. So this is 18 gram, pretty much almost to the top there. So I'm gonna temp it. 
Okay, I'm, I'm just going to give you a quick temp. Comes the temping pressure. Uh, just be consistent. Yeah, it's almost at the top. So I'm using the Gnomecore puck screen. All right. So I'm making my wife this morning. Uh, so this is the monk fruit. Okay, this, this is not a sugar. This is actual monk fruit uh, from Amazon there. And I'm going to steam it with half and half. It's called Brave, Cafe Brave. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the shot. So this is darker roast. All right, hopefully I can give you guys the, the view from the bottom there. So this is not fresh, it's about six, seven weeks old. So far so good. And I still have some crema. Okay. Yeah, it's not as, again. It's gonna be interesting. I can't wait to try that. Uh, especially darker roast. Uh, personally, I like to drink in, you know, like three weeks, two, three weeks tops. But I mean, it's not gonna be, you know, it's not bad, but obviously you wanna have freshly roast coffee as possible. Okay, I'm just gonna steam some milk here. Steaming up milk. Hold on. I can show you guys a better view. I like to uh, start the purge first. And then shut it. Make sure wet paper towel to clean it well and then purge one more time. It takes a few seconds to purge. There we go. All right. So now we have espresso with the monk fruit. I'm just going to mix it well. Just make sure melt the monk fruit there. So this is a Cafe Brave. Okay, a little, let's do some, a little bit of latte art. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. All right. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try there. I'm just gonna have a quick sip before I'm gonna hand it to my wife. So this is a Brave, so a espresso with a steam half and half. Low on calorie, by the way. Okay. High on fat, but low on calorie. Here you go, cheers. Okay, not bad. Here we go. <clears throat> so my, that's my Coffee from my lovely wife sitting in that corner right there. I know some of you already. Yeah, some. I know a lot of you know it's my wife, but yeah. Alrighty. I don't know why. You know, she's been putting up with me for years, making this coffee channel, but she allowed me to use this much space. So I mean, that's very nice of her, and all this space is hers. I mean, that's why if you are looking for, I mean, if you are living with some, somebody, your loved ones, it's not about the machine, okay? It's not about the machine. It's about the, how it fit into your kitchen. So it doesn't matter how much money you have, your loved ones say, hey, it's not going to work. It's not going to fit into the kitchen. I guess you have to suck it up, okay? 
you know, it doesn't matter how good your coffee machines are. It's make sure you get the right color. All right, make sure you get the right color too. Color is also important as well. And I was planning on getting the O, oh, the, the white, uh, black one. I realized because we've got the kind of like white theme going. You got the white pro, white out. We have the white fellow canister as well. It's kind of like white. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So let's take a look at the Bellman. Okay. So this is the Bellman Espresso Maker and Steamer. Okay. It's called CX25P. Uh, it comes with their filter. Okay. So let's unbox this. This is a unboxing time here, folks. My favorite time. All right. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. All right. Yeah, so that is, so this one, I know some of you already have it at home. Uh, if you do, let me know, okay? Let me know in the comment section. You know, how you, I mean, how you guys like the, this bear man. I hear great things about it though. I hear amazing things about it. Okay, comes with the, uh, actually comes with the temper as well. It, it's not comes with it, I think you have to buy it separately. You got temper. I got some more paper. I got some extra paper, uh, extra filter, let's put it that way. So this is it, folks. Man. Wow, what a sh... Actually, be you know what? It's not bad. I mean, if you have a stove right next to your kitchen, just like that, okay? Looks pretty good, I have to say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks pretty good there. Let's take a look, close look. Uh, comes with a pressure gauge. How many bars inside? Steam on or stainless steel. Okay, there we go. And here is the espresso coming out. All right, so you got the espresso, steam. Let's open the top. Okay, let's warm the top there. All right. Everything is all well made so far. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with so far. Uh, look like there's some kind of filter. So this is kind of like you have their filter screen. All right, there goes the water go inside. Obviously there goes the... I wonder, I wonder if paper should be go on the bottom. Um, that's my guessing. Okay, hot water goes there. Coffee goes there. I wonder what this is for. In reality, you don't need a temper. Let me figure out what this is. Put the coffee inside. Just like that. Okay. So coffees go inside and then funnel through here. Once your pressure is built up, you're gonna lock everything in. So when coffee is ready, just like that, you can hold it like this, man. Very, very simple, okay, extremely simple. Having a nice steam one as well. Talking about manual espresso machine. Kind of, so this is very fancy mocha pot, okay? Very fancy mocha pot, so I can't wait to try this one. So uh, let's do that tomorrow morning. I'm gonna give you guys a live demo tomorrow morning because I don't want to embarrass myself. I'm going to do some 
Yeah, I'm going to do some uh, couple try run before. Uh, by the way, I wish that one. So this is the stainless steel, which means you have to use a stove top. Okay. So this is the magnetic here. Yeah. So this is not it's not magnetic, which means if you have an induction stove top, induction stove top, it's not going to work. All right. So you have to use some kind of I know gas <coughs> power, okay, something, some kind of electric stove or something like that. So you can actually boil the water. Uh, I wonder if you can get an induction stove top uh, adapter for this. I think they have it, something like that. It should be really cool. But overall, compact, okay? You got espresso, steam, all in one. Man, should be compared that with Brista Pro. Should be a lot of fun there tomorrow morning. Okay, should be a lot of fun tomorrow morning. Anyway, uh, is there any question from our viewers yet? Hold on, uh, hold on. Let me take a look. Is there any question from my Drunk viewer? Drunk Vigo said you've inspired me to pull a shot. Who is that? Drunk Vigo. Drunk. And you got Drunk Vigo. Shout out to Drunk Vigo. And Raphael says, can you say hi to my buddy George from South Carolina? I'm gonna shout out to George from South Carolina. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna shout out to George. Who else do you want me to shout out to? Any, you want me to shout out to anyone else? Folks? Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of like weird. Somebody requests me for a shout out though. Because, you know. I'm glad someone's watching my channel. Okay. Yeah, I never thought about, you know, people are watching, middle-aged guy making some coffee videos. Actually, I'm not a middle age anymore. I'm actually more like upper middle age. You figure middle age is like 40 something? I'm, I'm way beyond that. So anyway. Ian is a fan from the Philippines. Yep, you have a shout out to Ian from Philippines. And Dylan says shout out to Dylan. Okay, yeah, Dylan, you don't need to get shout out, okay? Yeah. I shout out to you plenty of times. Good. All right, who else? We got, uh, I see Linda's there as well, got Rain. I, we have our user morning crew showed up. <clears throat> I see Linda as well. Yeah, Drunk Vigo wants you inspire me to pull another shot. That's good, okay. Because espresso does not have a lot of caffeine like filter coffee, so I think, yeah, a lot less. So you can have more coffee if you want to. All right. So again, so tomorrow morning, I'm going to show you guys how this thing works. Okay, we're going to do the live demo. We can definitely do the live demo. Uh, I cannot wait. It should be a lot of fun. Brian asks, have hmm. you considered trying the Jazz Uno Mod? Hold on, so Brian mentioned about something. Hold on, what Brian? What Brian is asking, let's see here. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Gagu, I don't know. Brian, I have no idea what that is. Okay. I don't know what kind of ma is that one for, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know what that is. Some kind of mod. Is a mod for the bearman or something else? But um, this bearman is really cool, I have to say. I mean, if you have if you don't want to spend too much money, I don't know how much this thing costs, but it's not going to be like for 500 bucks. It's so. a mod for Gaza Classic. Oh, Gaza Classic. Yeah. I don't have a Gaza Classic. But uh, Gaza Classic, you, you have a lot of mods. I mean, you can add PID. You can have pre-infusion mod there. Man. Goodness. You, you, I mean, if you are into modifying your coffee machine, you're going to have some good time. Really good time. Linda said no coffee yet. Too much wrapping. So Linda is gift wrapping her gifts. That's nice. Okay. I think I think we are pretty good this morning. So this morning, uh, I think uh, I'm gonna give you guys an actual uh, proper demo. Okay, proper demo on Hue, a lever press machine. And uh, if you guys have missed it yesterday's video, make sure to check it out. Yours, Matt. Okay, yours. I live unboxed it 
Okay, there was a live unbox. I never used that coffee machine before. We live unboxed and I cleaned it a little bit and then we pulled a shot twice. So, man, for first time using it, man, I was pretty impressed with it. Okay, I have to pretty impressed with the hue. They're pretty tight. They're pretty tight, the lever, lever presser, okay? Because there's a lot of manual machines out there. But I mean, I feel like they are, they're as good as Flare so far, for my experience, okay? As good as the Flare. Because it comes with a 51 millimeter IMS basket. It's not a just regular basket. They give you a precision basket as well. So that was, that was pretty good. So I'm gonna show you guys a proper live demo this morning with that. And then uh, tomorrow morning, again, uh, about this time, okay, around like 8.30, uh, mountain standard time. So maybe like 7, 7.30 Pacific standard time. If not, like 10 o'clock, 10.30 Eastern. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully. And then we're gonna make some uh, latte out of it. Okay, we're gonna make some latte tomorrow morning. Uh, by the way, if you, how many of you are thinking about still getting Pro or Express? Uh, let me know, okay, because if you have the money, I mean, the pro is the one to get. All right, the pro is the one to get. But uh, make sure to subscribe my channel, so, because whenever I see the price change, I'm gonna go live right then, okay? I don't, you know, I don't wait till the following day, so whenever you see me with, like, breaking news or the price change, make sure, because uh, they usually, if you go to Amazon right now, Starting by eight, what, 850? Two weeks ago, you were 680. So, 680 is a pretty good deal. And the uh, Express was seven, uh, 600 bucks. So, 600 bucks for the uh, Express and 680 for the Pro. But now, Express is like 750 now. And the Pro is like eight something. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, uh, any other question from? Live chat. Um, Ren says the robot, yeah, robot type lever machines look tippy. Does it feel like it could tip over and spill hot water or coffee? Uh, for the rain, uh, uh, we're gonna do the live demo later. But yeah, uh, it's pretty tight. Okay, that are pretty tight. So with the, that stand I got, so I'm gonna try with a, a different stand as well, the regular stand with that. So let's find that. Let's find that for that too. Uh, should be. I'm really excited to try it out this month. I think I have a good idea how to use it. So, and then we're going to make some coffee with it. We're going to have some fun. Okay, folks, I'm going to see you guys next time.